I think we're live. I do believe. I do believe. Nope. I'm trying to set up my... I'm trying to get my monitor set up here. There it is. But the volume's going to be up, though, just like always. Volume down. Try to get to go live. All right. <clears throat> well, we're getting warmed up here. I've got today for a coffee cup. Oops. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That is a profound statement right there. <clears throat> so. I'm not running on all my cylinders because I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm still like, I don't know if I'm half asleep or three quarters asleep. I'm definitely still asleep. There's no doubt about that. Oh, man. <clears throat> Daylight savings time is killing me, man. I just can't get. I keep falling asleep an hour wrong and waking up an hour wrong. And <laughs> it's just. I don't know. I'm not sure why they still. I don't know why they insist. I've always been convinced that daylight savings time is just to mess with people. I mean, I'm not a big. Let's see. I'm not going to admit to being a big conspiracy theorist, but, like, I always kind of feel like there's people that kind of are behind the scenes that just do things, and, like, one of them is, like, hey, let's we'll change the time twice a year just to mess with everybody. I bet those people don't have to change their clocks, because they just get up when they want to, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. All right. All right, finally got some coffee in me. Woo! So what are we doing today? Make some French toast. At least I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna use a recipe. I'm gonna try to do it from from memory, whatever, whatever that means. So, let's see if we can get some angles going. How's that looking? Got an old pie pan here. That's what I use for my French toast because it's got a flat bottom. I'm gonna do probably gonna do like two eggs. Let's well, see what we got here. Eggs are getting eggs are getting low. Well, looks like we're gonna do three eggs because I've got three eggs, and if I cook, I have three. I almost only cook. Yeah. All right, we need a whisk or something to frizzle frazzle the eggs up a bit. I like this one. Let's use this one. We get a little mixy mix with that. So the best of my recollection, a French toast recipe, for you, those of you that are not familiar with toast from France or French toast, uh, you're going to have a hot thing. You're going to have a little some eggs. You're going to have some milk. You're going to have a little bit of vanilla. Some people put cinnamon in it, but I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. I'm not going to do the cinnamon. I think that's it. I really don't know if there's more to French toast or not. If there is, I'm not getting any of it. Oh, that's good coffee. You know what? I just realized I'm probably eating or drinking. Yeah. French roast coffee with French toast. Dude, I want somebody here. Hold on a second. Ah, it's an animal. Just got a, probably a deer creeping around. <clears throat> Dog is very excited. Okay. So French toast. French roast. Let's crack some eggs. I feel like I need to get this thing going. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm still I'm still asleep. <laughs> All right, eggs. Now, I think three eggs for French toast is like a lot of eggs, but what are you going to do in life? I mean, 
then we're gonna do one egg and then have two extras. I don't know. So my move with the egg, take your egg, not on the edge. Edge will push the shell in on a flat surface. Can I get this so like the camera's gonna see? Well, just trust me. One whack, thumbs in, pull apart. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, we're just gonna do all three eggs because, ooh, I messed that one up, but still worked. <clears throat> the reason we do all three is because if uh, I don't get all the French toast made, I can just cook the egg up. My dog will eat it, shit like that. Should be very excited. Oops, I left my water running. Fail. Couple eggs in the old egg container. Let's, let's mix them up a little bit. Oh yeah, we got technique. I suppose for camera, it'd be better if I did it left-handed. Which, <clears throat> for the record, I'm not left-handed. Although sometimes I play left-handed on YouTube. Just for the camera angles, kids. See the distance I'm willing to go? Okay. Now, the vanilla, this is uh, Mexican blend vanilla. I don't think you're supposed to put very much in, but I'm not gonna use a measuring container because, or a measuring spoon, I'm just gonna put a splash in there. Just a splash. That was three splashes. My bad. Oh wait, lefty. I should have put that in the title. Cooking French toast left-handed. Yeah, that's way too much vanilla, but that's okay. I like vanilla. And no, I won't be putting powdered sugar on my French toast. Some people do that, which I think is fancy. All right, the milk. Sure. I always uh, give you a milk sniff. Did I just sniff that off camera? No, I got it. I'm gonna try that for now. That's like 30 splashes, if you will. Oh, that might have been too much milk. I think I went too much with everything. Too much eggs, too much milk, and too much vanilla. Yeah. Actually, no, that's perfect. Perfection. Oh, sorry, I forgot, left-handed, man. All right. Things are looking up on the old French toast front. Oh, chuck that in the old sink. All right, what are we doing next? Is that warmed up yet? I don't like a medium. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm done with the milk. I'm gonna go ahead and put my milk away. The dog's here. Should we, should we say hi to the dog? Doggy? Come here, doggy. I can't film too much higher because you just see my vacuum cleaner stuff. Come here, bird. The internet wants to say hi. This is bird. She likes French toast. You want some French toast? Ooh, French toast. Not as good as bacon. Oh, you know that word, don't you? All right. So <clears throat> while I'm waiting for the uh, griddle to warm up, today's juice of the day, for reasons I don't know why, <clears throat> I bought cranberry juice. And uh, I don't really drink cranberry juice, but I guess when you bought two containers of it because you thought you were buying something else. I don't, I think I might've addressed this the other day. I used to think it was like funny when like my parents would like attempt to do something and then like get it totally wrong through what I could only assume was being not young anymore. And now it's happening to me. Like it's happening like a lot. Like I just think I'm doing something and I think I got it under control and then I just completely get it wrong. Like 
buying juice. Like I had, that was not cranberry. I didn't grab cranberry, I grabbed something else. And uh, yeah, no, I grabbed cranberry. <laughs> Just like, geez, man, what is happening? All right. So the old juice blender. Let's see if we get this thing sorted out. Little power cord action. Oh yeah, that's perfect. The thing I love about my kitchen is this cab is super low. So like you can't hardly do anything here. It's awesome. It's real, it's a real nice feature. Real nice feature. All right. I feel like uh, I need to aim this up a little bit better, baby. Let's go with, we'll back this off a little bit. There we go. So this is standard uh, concentrate. It has 100% juice when properly reconstituted. Ooh. How's that work? You get more than 100% juice? Whatever. All right, three cans. It's pretty, it's pretty thawed. Or de thawed, or however you thaw your. How's that doing? It's getting warm. I'm going to back that off a little bit. I'm going to back it off. Man, I'm doing a bad job of like not filming my back today. I'll try better. All right, there we go. Come on, come on, chunk. Okay. Okay, dokey. Right. I'm gonna do two cans for now. Do a little blendy blend and add the third can. Oh yeah. So I'm kind of curious as is, is this gonna be like the the sour cranberry or is this gonna be like sweet cranberry? I don't even know. chunk of ice in there. There's still chunks of ice in there. That's very aerated, you can see. Lots of air bubbles in there. It's actually kind of cool. Oh, hey, what's up, Sam? Nope, not pomegranate. Apparently, when I went to the store, I lost my ability to uh, be aware of my surroundings, and I bought cranberry juice, which I don't normally drink. I mean, I don't, that's not bad. I just would never buy cranberry, because cranberry is usually pretty tart. So, we're going to give it a try. I mean, I'm going to have to let it settle out. It had a huge ice chunk in it. All right, so back to what I was doing here. Let's see. Get this thing set up. All right. I gotta put one more thing of water in there. I'm gonna try to move this juice down the way a little tiny bit. Make some working room. Actually, I'm gonna pop it off the blender because there's just no room. Just no room in the end. We're all full. We're not awful, we're all full. <laughs> all right. So now that I've Shove some stuff around, make sure the lid's on that, put the lid on this. Now we're gonna get going on the French toast. So, <clears throat> techniques will vary, I'm sure. But what I do is I, let's see, near that switch, what flavor juice this? This is vanilla. It's like strong vanilla flavor. It's like artificial vanilla mixed with real pure vanilla extract. That's what I make my ice cream with. I put a little bit of that in the French toast batter, which is eggs. That's getting hot. That's getting hot, kids. Oh, my French toast is gonna cook too quick. Sometimes real ice cream is used by French toast. <laughs> I don't know if 
you're trying to be funny or if that's how you do it, but you know, that'd work. We're gonna make an omelet. No, no, French toast, buddy. French toast. So you may never, I mean, you live in India, you may not know what French toast is. Man, this is, why is this so hot? Dude, I got you on like a medium. So the international is your pan hot enough symbol is you have a little water on your hand and you, yeah, that's screaming hot. Why are you so, oh, I almost knocked the tripod over. No, we don't eat non-veg. What now? Oh, you're a vegan. Well, you're missing out on life, man. Life is short, have some cheese, it's delicious. Don't beat the cow up when you get the milk, but you can have cheese is good. All right, so French toast. You take a piece of bread and you put it in the batter. I don't think it really is a batter or not. It's just a, I'm gonna get a fork. It's eggs, milk, and uh, this is gonna cook fast. This is gonna cook fast, kids, because that thing was hot. I'm using competition white plates today, I think, because I'm running out of room, because I'm... Oh, I need a spatula quickly. Where's my spatula? Ah! I'm gonna use that guy. Oh, yeah. Okay! Jerry batter. Tom and Jerry, that's a cat cartoon, isn't it? Like Itchy and Scratchy. The Itchy and Scratchy Show. So yeah, sometimes my French toast is a little I don't know what the word is. Not completed in the inside. Uh, no, tart cherry and, 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 uh, tart cherry and, uh, cranberry are two different things. Um, the tart cherry I drink is like emergency. That's like when my knee starts hurting or my ankle starts hurting. That is like the emergency drink some tart cherry poison. I should probably drink it more often, but that stuff's kind of expensive. All right, so what we got up is, I'm still using this, even though I've got a new one, and this thing is broken nuts. I'm trying to, like, get the last little bit of broken out of it. Okay, I think that's going to be, let's, let's let's get this going here. Let's plate this up. We're going white plate today because I was afraid it was going to burn really fast. So, and buttermill. Put a little butter on it. This is probably pop open, break. See, this thing keeps snapping off. That's why I, I don't need a lot of butter, but oh man. It's hard not to have a lot of butter, right? Oops. We want a cleaner, we want a cleaner knife than those three. Clean enough. Spread a little butter around. Man, I'm not, I guess I shouldn't harsh anybody for being a vegan, but I got I got news for you. You're guaranteed this life, and uh, you can be a good person, do nice things, but man, sometimes there's some delicious things you could be eating. Ooh! Oh, I need a fork, too. All right, let's see how this works. I actually was going to make this last week, but the bread I had out... Mmm! The bread out wasn't really the kind of bread you make French toast with. It was like, it was like 12 grain or something. All right, doggy wants a little bit of French toast. Oh, she's going to eat off my fork and that freaks people out. Don't knock my lights over, you little beast. Don't lock my lights over, I don't do it. All right. So, we've got that heat down. We gotta finish the juice up. Did you miss the coffee cup of the day? 
Wait, what happened now? Oh, cockroaches? You get spiders. That's how you get cockroaches. You get giant spiders and they'll eat the cockroaches. That's how I take care of it. <laughs> you think that's like people freak out? I got spiders that live in my house. They're called, uh, I used to think they were wolf spiders. I later found out they're actually called water spiders. I think they're water spiders. Anyways, legs about that big, body about that big. They dominate the cockroaches. Woo! Freak you out when you see one of them things, though. Man, they're scary looking. They don't mess with me too much. Uh, Gary, he's fought a couple of them. He got bit on the lip when he was a pretty small guy fighting one, and it like he's got a permanent scar on his bottom lip. And it pissed him off so bad he tore every single leg off the spider after he killed it. <laughs> like I walk out, there's like a spider corpse, and all the legs are just like boop, 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 boop. And little Gary had like a wound on his lip. I felt bad for the guy. He murdered that thing. I have a video if you're absolutely interested in seeing what these spiders look like. You can Google it. You go to, to my you go to my page and there's a little search feature. It looks like a magnifying glass and you can just type spider in and you'll see. This is the last one. Last. Am I doing this out of frame? Come on, elf shelves. Uh, and you can see how giant these spiders are. And they live in my house. The way it works is the spider lays its egg and about a bajillion baby spiders come out. And then they eat everything in the house and then they start eating each other and then there's like one or two left over and that's who uh, makes the next set of spiders. It's like it's like a Highlander, there can only be one. Have you watched the owl kitty videos? Uh, is that like the cat and the owl that are friends? I think I've seen that before. Yeah, cockroaches are gross. And this, I shouldn't even talk about it, but the house I'm living in used to have a, a wooden roof on it. <laughs> if you can imagine that. And uh, I had to tear the wooden roof off because the wooden roof is not really the best kind of roof, especially an old one. And when I tore the wooden roof off, Living inside the wooden roof was about a half a trillion cockroaches. I'm not even making that up at all. It was the most amount of cockroaches I've ever seen in my entire life. And I can't even imagine how you could have more cockroaches in any scenario ever, no matter what. Yeah, so that's a true story. So I upped my spider game and they eliminated the cockroaches. I haven't seen cockroaches in a long time. Oh, I just spilled all that. God, why is this thing such shit split? Pouring. Why do you suck? Damn it. It's in my plate. <laughs> oh, it's such a great design. Good job, team. Why? This is on like medium low. Like, why are you smoking over here? This thing just smoking. Oh, God. This is happening. So how do I solve that? How do I saw this cranberry juice in my... Mm. Got it. Got it! I'm not a big fan of poison. I don't do a lot of poison. Uh, yeah, poison's not the best. I have ants too. I figured that one out. Only in the spring, they show up. All right, let's try this cranberry juice. Know thy stuff. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty tart. Pretty good though. It's like, oh, start. When we get a live stream, are you cooking turkey or chicken when Christmas arrives? Ooh, probably not. Maybe. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might do something. 
So with the ant traps, I used to do the the kind where you're like you crack the little you open the I don't know like a dry it's like a dry bait I guess. And I kind of felt like all I was doing was just putting ant traps out, and they were never actually doing anything. And then I stumbled across these wet these wet baits where like you have to like crack the end off. Those things work. I put one of those out and the ants were gone instantaneously. So I was like, all right, that's working so good. Like I got carpenter ants too. They don't come in my house too much. They're probably eating my house, but they don't come in my house. And, uh, I know where like one of their major nests is. So I put a, I put one of them ant traps right on top of their nest. So I think I took them out. Try stepping on them. Yeah, you need spiders, man. You need to figure out what eats them and then have those. That's how it works. It's like the spider eats the fly. What eats the spider? The bird eats the spider. The cat eats the bird. The 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 dog eats the cat. The wiggle and jiggle and jiggle and cider. I mean, I, I picked up my ant traps at the 50 cent store. <laughs> That's what I did. Straight up. 50 cent store. I'm like, I'll buy an ant trap for 50 cents. The last of the good deals there. Oh, I apparently didn't give the dog enough treats. She's, she had her head like right up in here for a second there. She's, she's, she's snoofing. What are you snoofing on, dog? Right up. All right. So, yeah, I don't do the poison because I have the animals like... I don't want to poison a mouse and then have my animals eat the mouse with poison inside of it. So I use traps. Plus traps are fun. Oh, the food chain? No, that's a, it's a song. The, uh, oh, how does that go? I swallow something, something. I swallowed a fly. Oh my gosh, I think I'll die. Well, I swallowed a spider to catch the fly that wiggled and jiggled and jiggled inside. I think I'll die. I swallowed the bird to catch the spider, to catch the fly, the wiggle and jiggle and jiggle inside. I think I'll die. Something like that. I don't know if that's called a, a fable or a fairy, not a fairy tale. I don't know. It's an old song. Does Bird have dental treats? Well, I used to give her rawhides and like, my dog has a thing. I can't totally explain it, but like, my dog used to annihilate rawhides all the time, but now she doesn't. <laughs> she only eats rawhides when there's someone here to eat them in front of, and I don't count. So she hasn't eaten rawhides. Like, I used to have to buy, like, a bag a month, and then she hasn't eaten rawhides. So, yeah, she got stinky breath now. Those rawhides used to keep her teeth clean. But now she, I mean, you gotta, you gotta spend time with the dog to under, understand the psychology of a dog. A lot of, a lot of dog psychology is all about doing something because someone else can't do something in the dog's mind. Like, I want this toy because you can't have it type of deal. It's not that they want the toy. They just want you not to have the toy. That's how a dog's mind works. It's very basic. So with the, with the rawhide thing, it was like, I just want to chew this rawhide because you can't type of deal. And now that there's no one to impress at the house on a regular basis because the COVID stuff. Oh, the hamster got it. Oh, it's tragic. Well, the hamster is pretty close to a rat. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I just, I'm not anti people doing what they do to animals as far as like hunting or whatever, And but I just don't. I don't go out of my way to like make sure that like uh, random animals can't make it. <laughs> That's not my gig. Now, when it comes to inside my house, that's a different story. If you're going to be an animal in my house, you either have to perform a service or pay rent. So, like, my dog and my cat, they, they work for their, their room and board. They, they clear the vermin out. They clear the they kill things. The mice, they don't do anything, so they got to go. No, no mice living in my house. They get eliminated. But, like, setting traps is fun. It's like you're, you're hunting a little bit. Gotta be strategic. How you put your traps out? You gotta be clever. Yeah, I uh, 
I, I, I got a thousand and one subs. That's true. It's kind of, well, actually, I probably, so the way that YouTube does it is once you get close, it kind of rounds you up. So I'm probably at like 1,099, probably. I didn't check today. The other day I got close enough that it rounded me up and uh, like two people unsubbed me and it rounded me back down. That kind of felt bad. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I made it. Then it's like an hour later, ooh, you unmade it. It's like, Arr! Oh, man. So like, we had like some weather come through the other day and it was like, it wasn't cold enough that we got a lot of snow, but like the wind, the wind was insane. I'm talking wind so hard that when you try to walk, your feet don't land where you're trying to put them because it blows your feet in a different direction. And of course I was up on the hill working on that house in that wind. I, mean, I shot a video of it. I don't think it, sh it doesn't show how bad it was in the video, but. Boss man decided that I needed to move sheets of foam that day in 50 mile an hour winds. That's a true story. We chopped some of them up, made them a little more manageable. Had to use the pickup trucks as a wind stop because it was like, there was a couple times there where like, I thought boss man was going to fall over from the wind. Like it blew so hard. He like was stumbling backwards. One time it blew him into the foundation. The foundation stopped him from uh, falling over, which was kind of crazy. But it was blowing me around. Like, I swear to God, you'd walk and this foot would just blow. You, you'd like sidestep because of the wind. It was just, it was crazy. How do you control your cat to listen to you? I had a cat once. Yeah, it's called a cat, dude. <laughs> cats do, cats are on their own terms. You don't really tell a cat. Although, I did train my cat to shake, which was like, um, I'll talk about my cat training. So the only way you could train a cat is with like lots and lots and lots of repetition and there has to be food involved. So the first thing I ever taught a cat to do was, uh, this is when I still lived at home. We had a little black cat named Molly and I trained, I trained Molly to sit up on her back with her and a cat will paw at food or whatever. Well, I tried her to keep her paw straight down to the side and just use her mouth, like, to get food. And the only way I do that is I would hold the food above her, and then, like, I just wouldn't give it to her. If she tried to paw, I'd be like, no, and I'd slap her paws away, and, like, I mean, I probably spent literally years teaching that cat that trick. Years! And she, she would do it. And then, uh, that was about the time when I moved out, and I'd go back to visit, my parents wouldn't make her do it. They'd, they'd, she'd still sit up for food, but they'd let her use her paws. And I would just like, it'd take, it'd take a couple refreshers and she'd get it back again. So like, <clears throat> I think actually I, I tried to teach Gary that and he just wouldn't have it. I kind of taught him the shake for food, but he like, you could just tell he's going to, he's just mad. He don't want to do that. Cat, a cat ain't feeling it, man. A cat don't want to do no tricks. Cat could take it or leave it with you. Yeah, I mean, I'm convinced like the whole deal with a cat is you got to get the cat when it's really, really, really young. And if you can get an abandoned cat that was like maybe pretty hungry for a while in its life, it'll like you even more. Here, it looks like it doesn't even blink. Yeah, he's, well, like I said, he's... He's not doing super great. He's a pretty old cat. <laughs> he's just kind of, he's kind of in the nap stage of his life where he just like naps. Naps and begs for food, I guess is what he does now. But uh, yeah, if you can get like an abandoned kitten, they'll be your best friend for life. And that's kind of sad that you, a, a cat requires like to be mal fed or abandoned or whatever to be a, an appreciative cat. But that's kind of how it works in life. Like... Look at this dog. This dog is just like, she's just like, dude, can I get some more of that? Just look at her looking on the ground. Do you want French toast? Is that an affirmative? You just, you're going to put your face on the griddle? 
You can't get your face any closer to the stove, can you? There's still like three inches. You could get your close, your nose a little closer to the stove. You're approaching the no-go zone, dog. I trained the dog not to go past this corner. That's like an invisible barrier. She's not allowed. Not allowed. Ooh, that one's good. Okay. Trying to think of what else is exciting. So because of that weather <clears throat> that we had the other day, that was on Thursday. Well, the snow came in on Friday and the temperature dropped and boss man decided he wasn't really wanting to stand out in 50 mile an hour winds below freezing with snow <laughs> on top of a hill. Like, so we had, I had Friday off, so I got to go shopping. Oh, I'm so excited. Got to go out to my favorite store in the whole world, the 50 cent store and buy some treasures which I've only done once since July. And if you know anything about me, that's like, oh, it's like torture. I used to go every Friday for years. So I haven't been forever. Last time I went, it was just trash. Absolute garbage. And then boss man called me after I was there 45 minutes. Like, oh, I'm going to go out and pump the basement out. And I was like, oh, okay, I got to go. So this time I had unlimited time to go to the store and enjoy myself and get some treasures. And I scored some stuff. Nothing amazing. I mean, a couple cool things, but I haven't decided if I'm going to make videos of all of it. I'll show you what I get. One of the things I got. I'm pretty excited about this. I got I got some of these. Look at that. Long-handled wooden spoon for the wok. So I can scrape in my wok and not have that metal scraping. How nice does that look? I got spares, too. It came with this and a shorter one and then like a regular. So I got I got piles. I got piles of those. Very exciting. Um I, mean, I might make I might make standalone videos of some of this stuff. The other thing I got that's kind of cool, I'm pretty excited about, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna work. So I got one of these things. It's an automatic soap dispenser. I've watered it right now. It's a little beat up because it was out of its package. It's got a couple scuffs. But uh, I washed it up, put the water in. It shoots water out. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can. <laughs> Let me see if I can make this thing work. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> oh, it's filling my trash can. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Can you see it? Keep your keep your eyes right here. I'm gonna fire this thing up. You ready? See that? Isn't that nice? That's that's a thing. Now that's just got water in it right now, so I don't know how great it's gonna work when there's soap in it. I read some reviews and uh, people are saying it's a piece of shit, doesn't work. I don't know. We'll see. For 50 cents, I think that thing retailed for like 30 bucks, so we'll see how it works. Let's see. Does a cat wear sweaters? No. The cat is not wearing a sweater. He needs a sweater, though. He's always cold. I got something else in here. God, where did I put it? It's, uh, oh, yeah. I got a new garlic press. Check that out. A rocker garlic press. You put your garlic right here and you just... And it squishes it. So I am going to make a video about this one. Because I have some traditional garlic presses. So we'll see. Stainless steel. That's pretty cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got tons of... Tons. Let's see. I don't think it's efficient. Yeah, I don't I mean... So the problem with that automatic soap dispenser is people say it doesn't put enough soap out. Well, I don't, I think people use too much soap. I'll be honest with you. Especially liquid soap like that. So I think when like, people use liquid soap, they squirt a big pile of liquid soap in their hand and they're rah, rah, rah. Well, most liquid soap is what they call concentrated. Where like they kind of make it extra potent. Well, you don't need much of that. I mean, like less than a drop in your hands. Like two drops to do a whole load of dishes. So 
I personally feel like people use way too much soap. So I would be over the moon if that thing just put a little, little dollop out. Oh yeah, oddly enough, not only did I get the soap dispenser, I got a bottle of soap too for it, <laughs> for 50 cents, how great is that? And that's not a very good bargain, but I just figured, well, you need soap anyways. So for Asians, even dishwasher is not good because it's expensive drying machine for plates. Yeah, like so, like uh, the dishwashers we have, you can either have it set for auto dry or not auto dry. What I do as soon as my dishwasher done, I open it up, pull the racks out, let it steam dry. Oh yeah, I'll give this tip out too. If you have an automatic dishwasher. And you have problems with like your dishes being like cloudy or whatever. This is the pro tip. You need to be putting this in your dishwasher. A, a little bit of white vinegar, just pour it in. will take care of all that discoloration, all that spotting, all that everything. And you can buy a big gallon of it, lasts forever. Just a few splashes. If you don't believe me, enjoy your cloudy dishes because my dishes come out. And I don't, I don't have a water softener. No hard water spots, nothing, because I use vinegar. If you don't know that, get your notepad out, write yourself a note, <laughs> and uh, yeah. That is like the one of the best pieces of advice I could give anybody. Let's see here. Oh, where's the dog at? Where's the dog? Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I got some comments. Hold on a second. Give me one second to read this. Breakfast is still happening. Make, I made uh, cooking French toast. I'm just kind of slow rolling it. Made some. Uh, made some cranberry juice. French toast was a few eggs. Use some of this vanilla in there and some milk. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> Wait a minute! You just keep all the things here to show up. In the video. <laughs> what is the cat doing? Cat is. Let me see. Hold on. I think the cat is assed out on the couch. Oh, sorry, I just stuck on my dog. Cat's on the couch being grumpy, is what the cat's doing. He's just, he's all curled up being mad. Does your cat live inside the house? All? Yeah, my cat never leaves. It's an inside cat. We got weird laws around here about letting animals run free. So I have an inside cat. All right. So some people just showed up. Let's let's do the. I'm blocking uh, counter space here. So it's kind of funny. No, I don't have all my worldly possessions around me in my kitchen at all times. I just bought that yesterday. So <clears throat> the place I buy it from is like. You have to clean everything you buy there because it's just in a bin and everyone's just digging through it. So I bring it home and like disinfect it. And a lot of that happens in the kitchen. So that's why I was all in the kitchen. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to think what else I got. Got a hard, a hard sided computer case. Oh, wait, check this out. Look what I got. coolest now i'm not gonna say it's real it might be a counterfeit but check it out supreme keychain that's right kids supreme oh man how, how could you pass that up now, i gotta tell you this thing was coated in glitter i mean <laughs> when i say coated in glitter i'm talking like a uh, the magical fairy mother came down and just bam glittered it so i used uh, sticky tape and got all the glitter off it yep supreme i don't think it's real yeah my cat i wish it would gain weight oh man 
like I was saying, like my cat is definitely uh, on the on the way uh, out. It's not my cat is not getting younger and stronger. It's getting weaker and older daily. He's like a bag of bones right now. I, I wish he would eat more. I can't get him to eat any more than he does. Like I've been giving him tuna fish. That's where I with my cat. I open cans of tuna fish. Let him eat just cans of tuna fish, trying to get him fattened up. Wait, I thought you were anti Supreme. Oh, it's just like I would never buy anything Supreme, but I paid fifty cents for that. Isn't that funny? Like that's hilarious. I might put that on my my ATV's uh, key and have a Supreme keychain. <laughs> Supreme. It's just funny. Uh, let's see what else. What else magical crap did I get the other day that I could just turn around and see? That's probably about it. The rest I put away in other places. Yeah, I don't think I got anything else in the kitchen. I mean, I bought almost 30 things, but some of them were just like little stupid things. Let's see. For the mean value? Oh, yeah. A drifting RC, cool. Yeah, I haven't rode my RC very much lately. It's kind of bumming me out. It's just like, I keep thinking about it and I keep thinking, man, I'd like to just sit in the chair and relax after what I do all day. And just like, then the weekend comes, it's like, oh, I got one day. I got one day to do something. It's like, oh, I got laundry to do and like housework. It's just, haven't been able to get any RCing and it's kind of bumming me out a little bit, but. Such is life in the big city. Can we see the cat and the dog bed? No, the cat and the dog sleep wherever they want to. I mean, the dog, dog's favorite place in the whole house is wherever I just got up from. I swear to God. Any chair I sit in, as soon as I stand up, she jumps in it. Because, like, that's obviously... I was talking about, like, dog brain and dog psychology. So, like, whatever I'm doing is the best, obviously, for the dog. So when I stop doing it, the dog's, like, right in there. Like, right in my chair. Yeah, exactly, 200. So I'm pretty sure that that's not a real uh, authentic Supreme keychain. I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff. Although I found the box. The box said Supreme on it. I got the box. It was full of glitter, too. Yeah, I need to find time. I mean, my buddy, he got back into it. Uh, he, actually, he actually bought that new Bronco uh, TRX4, the brand new Bronco one. He's been out driving that one. Sending me pictures. Oh, dude, let's go fucking, let's go RC. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, I'm busy, sorry. So. Whatever. The RCs are stored in a dry location, so they won't, they won't get ruined. They'll still be good. They'll still be good. It's just, it's just tough with, like, I'm trying to build that house and, like, I mean... If I'm if I take twenty minutes to run an RC, that's twenty minutes of the house not getting built, which is it all adds up. I mean, that giant dirt pile would have been fun to play on, but once again, it's like oh, I could you know wait till after after the we're done for the day. But it's like dude, when the day's over, I just want to go home and sit in a chair. <laughs> I just want to not be standing on my feet for one more minute longer. I just want to go relax. Like back when I was younger, yeah, I had unlimited energy. I'm not young anymore. I'm I'm like more than halfway to being an old person. So like, yeah, life isn't as easy as it used to be. You should be able to skate through that stuff, no problem. Ooh, my coffee got cold. Let's freshen that up. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can. Any other crazy things I could think of or anything like really interesting that's happened lately? I mean, that snow coming down the other day was kind of an eye opener. I mean, it wasn't much, just kind of blew around, but it's just like, oh man, that's real. The snow is here, the snow is happening. It's actually been pretty nice weather considering how late in the year it is. But. Whatever. I mean, I'm not in charge of a lot of things in my life. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Let's 
trying to think what else is new. Well, you if, if you watch the channel a lot, you noticed uh, I'm doing a snow plow situation on my one of my machines. And, uh, oh my god, I can't explain how crazy that whole thing's been. It's like... Just trying to get it set up and trying to get the parts for it and everything. Every single thing I ordered for that came either, like, and I'm not, and I'm not saying like almost everything, literally 100% of everything I bought either had a, a bad finish, a scratch on it, was open box, was used, wrong parts, everything. And everything I bought was new, was supposed to be brand new. You know, I ordered brand new, and I was like, hey, I want to buy a bunch of used shit. It's like, no, I want brand new, and everything I got came used, 100% of everything. And everything came, like, not at the same time, so it was like, it's a slow roll. It's like, I got the first thing, it was weird. Got the second thing, it was scratched. Got the third thing, had a bad finish. Uh, well, I'm giving you a spoiler, because I don't think this video is out yet. The next thing came used. You know, it's like, dude, everything. I started, I started to get a little angry. Like all this stuff's happening all at once. Like, I let, a, I let a subcontractor borrow a tool of mine the other day, and they broke it. And then they just put it back uh, on the edge of the window and left, and didn't even tell me it was broken. And I was like, oh, thanks, bud. So I've been dealing with trying to get that warranted. I was probably be like the highlight of my last like week and a half. It's like dealing with phone calls and warranties and emails. It's like, dude, what is happening? I hate emailing. <clears throat> and nothing against you uh, fine folks in India. I know there's at least one or two of you watching this. But for some reason, I don't know why. I went to, I went to college with a guy from India. And he was a nice guy. And I asked him, like, what, what is, like, the thing that bothers you the most about living in America, being from India? And he was like, what bothers me the most is when people ask me how long I've spoke English. <laughs> because they speak English in India, right? I mean, I'm sure you guys know that. <laughs> and I was like, that's crazy. He's like, yeah, no, people don't think that I speak English. Like, it's, they think it's my second language. Well, it's because of the dialect or whatever. It's a little different than what we're used to in America. And for reasons I don't understand, it seems as though if you call customer service for almost any company now, all you guys in India are on the other end of the phone on customer service. And I got one the other day. And it wasn't I couldn't understand what the guy was saying. It was the connection. It was going from America to India. It was double echo. It was echo, echo, echo. I was like, dude, I can bear it. It's like, it wasn't that I couldn't understand the gentleman on the phone. It was the echo, dude. It was unreal. Just this crazy echo trying to talk to a guy who has a little bit different accent than I have. I think he was he was having a hard time understanding me. So he finally had to stop the conversation, went to email so we could just read. But man, that was wild. I think I might be on my last piece here. I don't know how many pieces of French toast I just ate, but I feel like I ate almost all of them. So let's... uh. See if we can cook this egg up here. This might get wild. I'm probably gonna make a disaster out of this. Let's put a little butter on this. Lube the old pan up real quick. Oops. A little lube. And we're just gonna pour this on there. Oh, well, you can tell my floor's not level. Let's scramble up a little egg here. Let's make the dog happy. Ooh, the doggy wants some eggs. She's licking her lips. She's like, hell yeah, human. You ain't got to ask me. 
We got chefing. Chefing up some French toast eggs. Berta, it's gonna be hot. Cracks me up like I'm kind of infamous for like shoving the food in my mouth that's way too hot. And the poor dog doesn't realize that I eat food that's too hot. She'll try to eat what I'm eating and like she's got this look of my mouth is on fire. <laughs> burn my lips. But she'll power through it. It'll like burn in her mouth and she just like, <sighs> like pulls her lips back and just keeps going. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. Which one of these was... Which one was the one that had the raw egg on it? I think it was this one. Dog, dog will be fine. Dogs eat raw eggs in the wild. It's going to be hot, Berta. You're going to burn your lips? It's hot. Ooh, burn your lips. Nope, swallowed it whole. Hot. It's hot eggs. Oh, there's one for the floor. I'll tell you what my dog did last night. I was sitting there eating a piece of cold pizza on the couch, kind of sitting on the edge of the chair because I think the cat was in my chair. And I'm sitting there eating. Let's see. I think we're getting close to the end here. I'll turn the camera around and we'll just have me do a little monologue here. Let's see. All right. So I'm sitting on my, hey, looking at my cabinets again. So I'm like, we gotta manage to be down kind of near the dog's level. And I'm eating a piece of pizza. I take a bite and I just put my hand on like this. And my dog actually like went for the, like, she's like, oh, that's my piece. And it's like, no. Yeah, she, her ears are all back because she knows I'm talking about it. Here, hold on. Berta, you ate my pizza last night, didn't you? Hey, look at me. Did you eat my pizza, bad dog? Ooh, you were a naughty dog. You ate my pizza, didn't you? You took a bite. Oh, look, those ears go back. You ate my pizza. Oh, this one. Berta, did you eat the cat's food? See that? Did you eat the cat's food the other day? Did you go to the no-go zone? Berta, did you eat the cat's food? Yeah, you did. She did fully. She went in the no-go zone and ate the cat's food like a bad dog. I don't know. I'm just going to have another bite. So, yeah, now it's probably pretty close to the end of this one. I'm not sure what I'm doing today. It's supposed to be, uh, we got two days next week that are going to be nice. Like 70 degrees, maybe. Oh! That's tart. Cranberry. So I probably need to go outside today and like make sure the yard's ready for the rest of the season. That's, it's hard to describe if you don't live where it snows. It's like you look around, you're like, oh yeah, this is all under control. And then it snows. It's like, oh, I wasn't under control because everything just disappears and the stuff you didn't have put away all is gone for the season. So... Every year I tell myself, pick everything up, get everything arranged, and there's always something I miss, so. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah. Going about, a, I'm going to go try, no longer than an hour. Hour seems like pretty long, but what I've realized is if you like watching this stuff, it's here. There you go. Make sure how to, how to survive cold storms. Don't go out in them. <laughs> Dress in layers. Yeah, cold storms are no good. So, the dog's still staring at the plate. But yeah, that's probably the end of this one. It's cloudy today. I don't know. I kind of just want to go sit in a chair and just relax, but I got to get some stuff done. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in. If you caught this on the re upload, on the replay, thanks for watching the replay. If not, you did what you did, do what you do. I'm going to, uh, yeah, go take care of some things. Until next time, stay safe. I'm out. Peace. Or speak. 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 Yeah, good girl. <laughs>